Okay, so we finally got this uh, Vantage Pro hooked up with the SIA 2000 adapter to look at waste spark secondary signals here. And it's a bit of a challenge to configure, especially with the limited information. But thanks to Richard Shepard from Snap-on Diagnostics, he sent me some uh, more detailed instructions and I was able to get it to work. First of all, you have to identify the polarity of the ignition coils on this waste park system. And it's easiest to do that by using the single cylinder mode, which of course would be by default inverted, using one of the negative leads here and connecting it to each individual wire. If the pattern displays like a normal secondary waveform with the firing spike rising, then it is negative firing. And I've identified that's the coil configuration on this, with this being the front of the vehicle here, because the coil is sitting on the left-hand side of the back of the engine. So cylinders 2, 4, and 6 are negative. Cylinders 5, 3, and 1 are positive. So connect three of the negative leads of this adapter onto the three negative wires, in this case two, four, and six, and three of the positive leads, any three, onto one, three, and five. And of course, the, uh, the trigger is connected to cylinder number one. And we've got some decent looking waveforms. I'm gonna just change the Getting a glare off this thing here. I'm going to change the display to parade at five milliseconds. So that looks like I was expecting to see. You do have to play with this sensitivity adjustment here, which is where most of my problem was. You notice that if that's not set correctly, I'm going to move it out of the way, you get no pattern on the screen at all. And of course, because the scope saves the last settings, if somebody's monkeyed with that, I can't get it to go back now. Should come back here, we go. I'm going to drop it down just a little bit to try to stabilize the pattern on the screen. There we go. That's weird, now it's dropping out a cylinder. There we go. So you have to play with that sensitivity adjustment. I've got it set about 2 kV. It's kind of like a trigger, but slightly different. And if it's set too high or too low, you won't get a pattern. So now these waveforms look relatively normal. And I've got it set at 15 kV. 20 just to see what it looks like. So now we should be able to go for a road test with this Volkswagen minivan. Actually it's a motorhome. And see if we can get that misfire to show up and find out what cylinder it's on. Hopefully it'll miss today. Okay, so I turned off the overhead light to get rid of the glare here. Here we see the uh, scope set up to read digital readings showing peak firing voltage, spark kilovolts, and spark duration or burn time in both the power and waste side on this vehicle. It's pretty impressive actually. You get to that by going to setup, going to view, going to display, and turning on digital KV or turning off digital KV. It doesn't see that you can show both, but you can show RPM on there as I have. So now the RPM has gone off the display, was up here. Let's put it back again. Set up, view, display, show. So I'm going to take this for a road test now, looking at the parade patterns here, and see if I can pick out which cylinder is actually breaking down, if it is in fact an ignition misfire. I'm going to use the uh, a longer USB cable so that I can put the unit in the vehicle and just run the USB cable into the cab of the vehicle. Hopefully that's going to work. So I've got the scope set up so I can go for a road test now. 
running the USB cable in. Nice with this uh, detachable uh, scope module. Allows me to leave everything under the hood and only run the USB cable out underneath. So I've secured all these wires up here so that hopefully they're not going to touch anything and nothing's going to go into the fan blade if the cooling fan even comes on. And then we'll go for a road test and see if we can get this misfire to show up. Well, I road tested up the highway about 65 kilometers an hour under a light acceleration. You could feel it consistently misfiring. I took a recording and I'm replaying it back in the, in the uh, stacked mode. And although there's some secondary uh, ignition noise on the burn lines, no single cylinder stands out. So I'm not sure if it's an ignition problem after all. Um, I don't like the fact that there's not very many coil oscillations, but that could be just because of the way spark concept and the inductive pickup. So I don't know if we should try another coil on this thing for the sake of trying it and see what happens, or if we should move on and suspect that we got a fuel delivery problem. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't set misfires, doesn't flash the MIL, so it makes it difficult. Plugs and wires have been replaced already, and owner bought this vehicle about a year ago and has had this problem since he bought it. Here we are replaying a snap throttle in a second or so you'll see the firing voltages go very nasty. One snap throttle, another one coming up briefly. It's going to replay again. It's around frame 45 to 55. Right there. Interesting problem with this thing. I'm lab scoping this way spark system and everything looks relatively normal here and then I got a warning that the battery's starting to die in my scope. So because I don't have access to AC power in the vehicle I figured I'd just take the cigarette lighter adapter plug and I'd plug it into the jack here. So I'm going to do that and interesting what happens here. Have a look at what happens to the, the waveforms. And then if I unplug it, they go back together again, they'll go back to normal again. So I suspect it's got something to do with the ground loop issue. And I thought we were out of that problem with a, you know, a USB connected lab scope attachment, but obviously not. So note to self, don't use a 12 volt power pickup, as you can see what happens when I do. It actually shows negative firing voltages when you go into digital data, setup, view, display, digital, back, back, oops I missed that, view, display, show digital, come on, back. You notice here some of these are showing negative 20,000 volts. Plug that. Now they're normal again. Oops, wrong button. Display. So, I guess if you need to run off the vehicle and have to use a, an inverter to isolate the ground, I wonder why these two are showing up as negative spikes here on cylinder four and six. They're not companion cylinders, but I well, don't have it inverted. Okay. I think I'm going to try another coil on this thing and see how it looks.